TuneTrack releases acoustic EBX for Easy Bass and updates Easy Bass to version 1.1.4. Welcome to Music Gears where we bring you the latest info on new music instruments, software, and other gear from around the world. TuneTrack has released the Acoustic EBX, an all-new Easy Bass expansion featuring an acoustic bass as well as MIDI and a broad range of mix-ready presets. Easy Bass has been updated to version 1.1.4. The Acoustic EBX features a traditional four-string, fretted acoustic bass guitar. Captured with both an external condenser microphone as well as an onboard piezo pickup, it offers the best of both worlds in terms of tone. On the one hand, you have the natural, deep and inherent timbre of the acoustic instrument itself and, on the other, a direct and almost electric bass-like flavor. This gives you an easy bass expansion with a sonic breadth that spans the entire range, from timeless acoustic resonance to blunt electric precision. In addition to the instrument itself, the acoustic EBX also includes a custom MIDI library as well as a collection of presets covering mix-ready tones tailored for both amped and acoustic scenarios. Feature Spotlight A meticulously captured acoustic bass Ideal for use in singer-songwriter, acoustic pop, and folk songs. Recorded with both an onboard piezo pickup as well as an external condenser microphone. Includes a finger-playing style option as well as a set of unique percussive articulations. Offering a range from D1 to E4. Includes a collection of presets covering a broad range of tones, from dark and earthy to vibrant, bright and electric comes with a custom MIDI library tailored for the instrument. Price, 80 euros. Changes in Easy Bass 1.1.4. General. Added support for percussive articulations that may exist in new EBX libraries. Bug fixes. Sound engine, an additional pluck would sometimes be heard during non-legato slides. Song track. If a tempo track had been imported from a MIDI file and two tempo nodes were located very close to each other, it could cause the playhead to jump away very far. CC events from a MIDI file were not parsed correctly if they were placed in the middle of a slide sequence. Song tracks can no longer be renamed to an empty string or only spaces. Grid editor, the lines connecting notes and slides would in some cases become invisible. Audio tracker, the time signature and the tempo in the tracker could have random values, which could cause crashes, if the host had not yet asked the Easy Bass to render any audio. Please like this video if you found it helpful, and if you'd like to stay informed on the latest in music gear releases, and limited time discount offers, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.